Good morning. Today is Wednesday, November 3rd, 2021. Today is a B-Day. Hey, you're not wearing your mask on. Oh, how do I wear it? Over your mouth is on it. Oh, okay. Are you interested in joining the concert vehicle racing team for the 21-22 school year? The introductory meeting will be held after school on Monday, November 8th in room 322 at FMA. We will be having a brief club overview and going out to the team garage. Inspect the vehicles. If you have any questions, see Mr. Schweitzer or Mr. Hansen. NFA and South Middle School are collaborating on MTI's All Together Now, a global celebration of local theater. A fantastic selection of songs are featured in this brand new musical re review from shows including Rent, Les Mis, Matilda, Hairspray, Disney's Beauty and the Beast, Newsies, Mary Poppins, Once on This Island, Little Shop of Horrors, Mamma Mia, and more. The show will be presented in the auditorium at NFA North on the following dates times. Friday, November 12th at 7 p.m., Saturday, uh, November 13th at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m., Sunday, November 14th at 2 p.m. and 5 p.m., and Monday, November 15th at 7 p.m. Tickets cost $10 and are available for purchase online starting November 1st. At the link below, limited tickets will be available for purchase at the door. It is strongly suggested that you order tickets online in advance. We are working on a possible live stream option as well. Seating is reserved and socially distanced. Masks are required. MTI is offering this show royalty-free as a way to help local theater and schools rebuild their programs after the financial hardship caused by the COVID shutdown. All funds raised by this performance will directly support the spring musical productions at NFA and South Middle School. There will be an informational meeting for anyone interested in participating in the cast or crew of the NFA Spring Musical Production, Alice in the Wonderland, on November 5th at 2.30 in the NFA Main Auditorium. Contact Ms. Clifford if you have any questions. The Newburg Free Library is looking to hire students at both other locations. If you are between the ages of 15 and 17, you can pick up the, an application at the main branch on Grand Street or the Newburg Mall branch. Dry cleaning will begin again, pick up on Tuesday, and drop off on Friday throughout the bookstore. Questions call 32105. Excuse me, can you pick that up? Why? Littering has many negative effects and can destroy the world. Yeah. Right, winter cheerleading tryouts are November 15, 16, and 17th from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. at South Middle School. You must attend all dates. All ath athletes need a updated physical and most must register on a family ID. Oops, are red. The sky is blue. Life just isn't the same. With Rose are red. The sky is blue. Life just, it just isn't the same without them. Hmm. I don't like this. <sighs> Why are you throwing this at me? What are you doing? Don't you know with your littering you're putting me, other people, and animals at danger? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I was kind of mad. It's okay, but remember, littering is a worldwide problem, so you make sure you don't litter and throw all of your stuff in the trash. You're right, and I should totally go through my paper in the trash. Great day, NFA. Hey, what are you doing up here? I thought you were downstairs boxing chocolates. No, nah, they kicked me out. Well, what for? I kept tasting them, see what kind they were. <laughs> well, they didn't like me down there either. I accidentally put all the chocolates with the almonds in the wrong boxes, and some lady with a nut allergy had to go to the ER. <laughs> okay, ladies, this is your last chance. If one piece of chocolate goes into the packing room unwrapped, you're both fired. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. Then ma start working. Well, this sure is easy. 
I'll say. Even the teenagers in the packing room could do this. Yeah, it's simple and safe. Did you know that every two minutes a teen gets injured in the workplace? What? Are you sure about that? Yeah, I read it on Twitter or something. Oh, yeah. Then has to be sure. <laughs> so, how do the teens even get injured anyways? I don't know. I guess from horsing around or falling or choking or something. Choking? Ha, huh, yeah, okay. I ain't kidding. It happens. Hey, is it just me or is this some... Um... It, it's speeding up! Looks like you actually did a job well done. Really? I know, I'm just as surprised. Huh. That was a close one. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Game Clock. I'm your host, Declan Welling, covering this week's sports news. The varsity football team annihilated Kingston last Friday, 55-0. Head coach Bill Bianco recorded his 94th career win, tying the all-time record. During the game, freshman quarterback Mason Hoover scored his first varsity touchdown, a 54-yard pass to DeAndre Johnson. The varsity volleyball team lost to Middletown 3-1, although it was a very competitive game. The JV volleyball team beat Middletown 2-1 this Monday. The JV football team beat Monroe Woodbury 16-8, extending their winning streak to 8-0. In national news, the MLB World Series is tied one game to one between the Astros and the Braves. The Knicks beat the 76ers 112-99, led by Julius Randle who had 16 points and 11 rebounds. The Jets starting quarterback Zach Wilson suffered a knee injury and will be out for two to four weeks. In response, the Jets, the Jets traded a 2022 20, late round pick for Joe Flacco from the Philadelphia Eagles. The Giants dismantled the Panthers 25 to three and quarterback Daniel Jones threw for 203 yards. The West Point College football team lost to Wake Forest 70 to 56. This was the most points scored in an Army football game ever. Thank you for watching Game Clock and be sure to tune in next week. I was just watching barbering videos and I just, I like, I liked it a lot and I wanted to do it. So I practiced on my little brother and I did well. And then I went to get a haircut in Miss C's room and I liked the vibes in there. It was good vibes. So then I was like, I'm going to take this class and start taking barbering seriously. I thought it was going to be a lot of book work because um, we're just coming in and learning and stuff. I didn't think we were going to be doing doing too much cutting. I thought we were going to be doing a lot of book work, learning the basics like sanitation, um, 90 degree haircuts and stuff like that. So I was pretty much prepared. I was watching videos on everything before I joined. So I had a, like a, I had like a head start basically. If you have like no experience, I, yeah, you would definitely struggle because it's not like, oh, you see I do it. Like, no, it's, it takes a lot of practice. So I think they would struggle. I want to go to college for business for two years, and then after that, hopefully open a barbershop somewhere out of New York. Multiple, actually. I want to open multiple barbershops, have multiple. It's a lot of good money in the barbering industry. I'm going to be a part of it.